Hi, Alfie. It's not time for your annual visit with Dr. Garcia, is it? Hi, Zoe. No, but I've been very itchy for the last couple of months. I'm so sorry, Alfie. Don't fret. Dr. Garcia will figure out what's wrong. Hi, Alfie. Oh, poor little guy. What seems to be going on at home? He just hasn't been the same since we got a new kitten a few months ago. The kitten's fine, but we catch Alfie constantly grooming himself. Now Alfie's fur is falling out and he's got these marks on his face and his body and legs. At first we thought it might be stress related, but it hasn't gotten any better. In fact, it's gotten worse in the past month. I'm glad you brought him in, Bill. We'll figure this out. Alfie just turned four, is that right? When you came in for his annual wellness exam last year, we celebrated normal lab values. His current condition could be a skin infection, like ringworm, what we call dermatophytosis, or an allergic reaction to fleas, food, or something in his environment, known as atopic dermatitis. Other than the kitten, have there been any changes to his environment? None that I can think of. That's why we thought maybe stress was causing this. Good instinct. Cats can be territorial, and any disturbance to their home can cause stress. While it's possible that stress could be contributing to his skin disease, there is probably more going on, like allergies or the infection that I mentioned. I'm going to recommend that we run some initial skin tests. First, let's see if there's any sign of fleas, parasites, bacteria, or fungal disease on Alfie. Has either cat been treated for fleas? Yeah, I use a flea treatment from the pet store on Alfie, but the kitten's not on any medication yet. You remember Alfie? Alfie's skin is very irritated. Let's comb him for fleas, perform a skin scrape, a skin cytology, and an in-house fungal culture. We'll be right back. Don't worry, Alfie. I'm here for you. The fungal culture will take some time to establish growth. We'll notify you of results in a few weeks. In the meantime, we can discuss the results of the other tests. I found flea dirt on Alfie. However, the cytology revealed some coxie bacteria. So it's just fleas? That's part of the problem. This could be flea bite allergy or hypersensitivity, or there could be additional skin diseases. We want to find out the underlying causes of his symptoms while controlling his itch. I'm going to recommend that we start Alfie and the kitten on a fast-acting topical flea control to eliminate the fleas and to determine if the itch is caused by flea bite hypersensitivity. If we kill the fleas, and he's still itchy, we'll learn he has a different cause for his skin disease. We also saw bacteria under the microscope on the cytology. We'll need to treat the bacterial infection with an antibiotic. I'd like to see him again in two weeks to see if the infection is cleared and how he's doing with the treatments. Thank you so much, Dr. Garcia. Alfie's always in good hands with you and your team here. I'll start him right away on the medications and we'll make an appointment on our way out to see you again in two weeks. Feel better soon, Alfie. See you soon. When Alfie returned two weeks later, his fungal culture test had come back negative, ruling out fungal infection. The fleas and bacterial infection resolved, but poor Alfie was still itchy. Alfie was put on a food elimination diet and within four weeks, clinical signs improved. And by eight weeks, his signs had completely resolved. Challenged with original diet, signs returned, food allergy confirmed. Alfie now lives happily and itch-free with his best friends, Kitten and Bill. He keeps on a balanced, novel protein diet and uses routine flea control.